Welcome to our home. And rather than roses today, this is yellow ginger. And it smells just divine. It's so beautiful. We, <laughs> we have a, um, here I'll hold it very, we have a small bunch of it, maybe 12 bulbs. And every year we get 12 of these, and they're just so special. Mm. So they, they usually come out the beginning of September. They last for about, I don't know, two weeks. All right. And then, and then after that, we get the white ginger, which, is, which we have tons of. We love plants. Yes. All right. So, so this is a holiday weekend, and I thought you might be with your your families, maybe you, you traveled to, to be together for a reunion. And so I'd like to talk about what I call is listening plus. That's a really good thing to do with family members, anybody really. So my dear father has passed from this world probably, I don't know, well over 20 years ago. But, and they, my parents lived in Buffalo, New York for a no, for a number of years until they moved close to us. And my father, on, on one, one of these visits to us from Buffalo, my father would want to go out and have a piece of pie and a cup of coffee at a little diner. Now, this is something I, I, I just never do that. Um, I still don't, but he but he just loved it. So of course I said I said yes, and we'd go to this little local diner, and and he'd order he'd find out what kind of pie I wanted, and he would order pie, and he'd get coffee, and I'd get probably peppermint tea. And my father and I, um, so there were two areas of conversation. One, he loved to talk about our daughters, and that, that was delightful. He also liked to talk about why Barry isn't making much so much money, and I didn't like that subject, so I, I changed that right away. But then, my father loved to talk about house repairs. They owned a, a small home in Buffalo, and he just loved to fix fix things up and make them more beautiful at, all over the house. And he loved talking about it. Well, at that time, we didn't own a house, and I actually had zero interest in house repairs. Now I do, but, but then I didn't. But he loved it, and, and so I decided to let him just talk and tell me about his house repairs. And what I would do is, I would be listening, you know, with how many pieces of wood, what color he was going to do, if it was wallpaper, um, his, the plumbing, what, what, whatever was his project, I would, I would let him talk. But I would also do the plus part of the listening, and I would just look into my dad's eyes and feel how much I love him, and feel what a what a good father he was to me. Just he's just a really, really good father. And I would just be feeling all that on, on the inside and and he'd be you know and the more I did that, the more talkative he became and wanting to share all this stuff with me. And then and then, you know, we hate our pie and the coffee was done and and it was time it was time to go. And, and he, pretty much every time, he would take my hand and he'd say, you and I know how to have a really good time. And I said, yes, because I, did, I had had a really good time with him. Now, had I just been trying to listen to the house repairs, which I had no interest, I, I might have been bored, I might have reflected that, I might have... I don't know what it, it wouldn't have gone so well. But because I added that plus part of just looking into his eyes and feeling how much I love him and f just feeling all the beautiful ways that, that he took care of me as, as a father. And a lot of it was building things 
for me out of wood. That was a lot of it. And it was a really good time. And now he's he's gone from this earth, but I remember those times and and they're so special. And and you can do this with, with anyone. Just look into their eyes and feel how much you love them. And let them keep talking about whatever they're talking about. I don't do this with politics. I have my boundaries. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, actually, it's pretty sneaky, but it's very effective. <laughs> and, you know, your dad, um, Joyce's dad, felt deeply listened to because of the plus part, because of the love part. <laughs> he thought it was that you were really interested in the house repairs. But, uh, I was but really he, interested in him. Exactly, but he felt deeply heard. And it's sneaky. It's a, it's a sneaky trick, but it's really powerful, and it's a spiritual trick. And it's something you can do with anyone. You know, just, you know, it doesn't mean you block what they're actually talking about. You hear that, you know, you can listen. But if it's not something you're interested in, try that. Try just tuning in to the love, the energy. <laughs> you have a song for us? Okay. Just like the sun does shine Just like the tide comes in Just like a bell does chime Love is the way of the heart Love is the way of the heart Love is the way of the heart My feelings are sometimes clear God's presence is always here but sometimes I'm not aware that love is the way of the heart love is the way of the heart it's been that way from the start that love is the way of the heart it's been that way from the start that love is the way of the heart 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 So take a moment, close your eyes, and feel that the purpose of the heart is to love. And if you can do that while you're listening to someone, how powerful it is. They don't know what you're doing, but all you need to do is just feel your love. 
connect with your heart, feel your love, and the person you're listening to is going to feel blessed. Okay, you can open your eyes and maybe some of you have been doing that listening to us. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, we hope that you enjoy the rest of this holiday weekend. And yeah, thank you for tuning in. And we, we send you our, our love. <laughs> and we're feeling our love for you right now. And we picture, sometimes we picture some of your faces and how much we love you and how much we treasure the connections. So may you be richly, deeply blessed. Oh. <laughs> One more look. One more look. If ever you have a chance to get one of these bulbs and grow them, I don't think they grow on the East Coast, but... Indoors. I don't know, yeah. but they are really beautiful. Okay, but one close look. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here you go. See you next week.